today every network consists of vulnerabilities which are also known as soft spots vulnerabilities might be present in a network or sometimes they may be even created by individual devices following are some of the primary vulnerabilities or weaknesses that can be present in a system they are due to technology weaknesses configuration weaknesses and security policy weaknesses technology weaknesses the fundamental security weaknesses are common in computer and network technologies they may be due to the network equipment weaknesses or tcp ip protocol weaknesses or sometimes even due to operating system weaknesses next is configuration weaknesses configuration weaknesses should be learnt by the network engineers or network administrator so that they can correctly configure the system the network devices to balance everything next is the security policy weaknesses unexpected security threats are created due to the security policy weaknesses only if the users do not follow the security policies properly then ultimately the network will face all the security risks in the previous week we saw the difference between vulnerabilities threats risks etc now we are going to focus on threats below are the four key classes of threats to network security they are unstructured threats structured threats external threats and internal threats unstructured threats in this type of threat actually it's easily available hacking tools such as password crackers and shell scripts these are generally used by inexperienced individuals unstructured threats still do serious damage to a company these types of threats are performed to prone the hacker skills for example the truthfulness of a company is damaged when a company's website is hacked public think that the website is not safe and it is no more safe to do any business with them structured threats in structured threats the technically competent and highly motivated hackers they try to provoke the threats they understand the system vulnerabilities and weaknesses very clearly and they try to develop exploit code and scripts to penetrate unsuspecting businesses they understand and develop and use sophisticated hacking methods they also regularly involve themselves in major frauds and theft cases which are reported to law enforcement agencies next comes the external threats external threats are raised outside the company by an individual or sometimes even by any organization like their competitors they have limited or no access to the computer network they mainly work from the internet or dial up access servers in their own way next comes the internal threats internal threats take place when someone has physical access to the network resources with an authorized account uh, of server access this type of internal threats is happening because of the misuse of the account up to 60 to 80% of the employees that are generally reported by fbi based on these types of attacks exploits and threats which are evolving in various terms they have also identified to describe them some of the most common terms used are the hacker cracker freaker spammer fisher and finally the white hat black hat and etc we'll see some of the common terms used here as we have already seen hacker the term hacker is commonly used to represent a computer programming expert but most recently the term is used to represent one who attempts to get unauthorized access with malicious intent to any resources 
cracker is an individual who tries to get the unauthorized access to the system or network resources with malicious intent he is also known as the cracker freaker an individual who influences the phone network to execute a function that are not allowed he is known as a freaker the aim is to break the phone network via a pay phone to make long distance free calls spammer here an individual who sends huge number of unwanted emails is called a spammer they use viruses to take control of the system and send out bulk messages via emails fisher the term fisher is used to trick the users to provide sensitive information like passwords credit card numbers via email or by other means they pretend to be a trustworthy group or they may have even some genuine necessity for the sensitive information of the user finally as i told you the white hat and the black hat which we are going to discuss in future in detail for example white hat the term white hat is used to depict individuals who use their skills to find vulnerabilities in the networks they are genuine people these vulnerabilities are reported to the system owner who could fix it properly so the here the assessment is done with genuine purpose whereas black hat refers to the individuals who use their computer skills to break into the network which for which they don't have the authorized access with much more uh, important technical attacks we are going to see in the future of this course <laughs>